guys, it's Sonia with Junk Monkey Paint Company. How are you today? Happy Sunday to you. Hopefully it was a good one. Karen says, where are you? I'm here, Karen. Thanks for waiting to hop on my live. I appreciate that. Join me here daily for a little bit of chit chat and a good project. There's always a good project going down around these parts. So last night who was here, we worked on some wording. I just put them over to the side because I need to monkey shine them just yet. Hey, Jan, how are you? Oh my gosh, awesome to see you on here. It is so hot. I was just debating whether or not I should open a window or not. We just we just moved the needle from like, it feels like winter to summer because all of a sudden now it's 80 degrees today and I love it, don't get me wrong. Like I am loving it. Um, but I forgot, you know, I forgot how to deal with the warmth. <laughs> Some of you guys are like, man, we've been, we've been having 80s like forever. <laughs> well, I don't live in that kind of climate. And yes, some, some summer is right, Susan. And I come from the land where you'll find polar bears. So this is not my typical climate, right? We took the dogs for a walk earlier, earlier, and even Oreo and Tiki were panting. We didn't go as far as we normally went. The dogs were like, oh, was it over 90 degrees there? Oh my goodness gracious. Tomorrow is supposed to be a beautiful day. I was looking at the forecast here in Pennsylvania. I'm up by Lake Erie. Linda, it's 65, that sounds good. A 65 in Southern California, I bet you that feels really, really good, right? So uh, tomorrow is supposed to be in the 80s again. I think it's supposed to be in the 80s for the next couple days and get this, the low of like 60 odd, like 62, 64 overnight. So I will take it. Hey, Rita, thanks for joining me, friends. So yeah, we uh, we took a drive today. We went down to our shop. We worked on some stuff around our shop. And of course, you know, our shop is um, about a two and a half hour drive in one direction. So that pretty much took the entire day. We worked on some stuff down there. Hey, Daphne, um, all that good stuff. And now we just got back home. So we walk the dogs and yeah, I wanna sit down with you guys and do a quick project together. I have had this frame. Um, I'm trying to remember, you guys were with me because I got it on one of the places I went and visited. Hey, Chris, you painted a sewing machine. Oh, a Liberty Blue. Did you like that? It got nice. Yeah, right? We go from winter to summer. There is There was no spring. It was just like this blah kind of period in between. So I think we're over the hump now. Illinois in the house. Beautiful day. Oh, very, very nice. I do. I love the sunshine. You got to have you got to have the bad days. You got to have the rainy days and the chilly days to really appreciate the warmth, the heat, and just that big ball of light in the sky. So I am appreciating it today. Oh, Christy, do you need me to send you some down to Maryland today? <laughs> you usually got some sunshine down there. I'm the one up here freezing to death. It's amazing. I was saying, I think yesterday, and even today, just going like two and a half, three hours south of where we are right now, like it is so much more greener. It's amazing. Just a couple hours. You ever travel and notice a difference between where you live and, you know, where it depends on which direction you're going. But if you're going south, that everything just feels greener. The blooms, the blossoms are out. Oh my goodness. Anyway, things are really blooming around here. So tomorrow I'm going to get into some just outdoor work around the house overdue. So we'll probably do an outdoor vlog tomorrow. That's the plan. So I got this frame here when we were out thrifting and junkin'. And I think I only paid like maybe two or three dollars for it somewhere around there, right? Frames are not cheap. Have you ever noticed that when you went to buy a frame? So if you're in the market to get a frame, go to like a Goodwill, a thrift store, a used shop, you can find some really, really nice ones. And of course the, you know, the vintage lover in me love the feel of this one. It felt very French provincially, okay, vintage -y. Those are not real words, but we're making them up, right? Vintage and yeah, French provincial is a style. You see a lot of curves, you know, or Queen Anne with a lot of curves. So it kind of imitates that. I love it. Would you have taken it home for a couple bucks too? So, and I thought I'd make some, um, like some art out of it. I could put anything in, in here I want to, but I found these awesome printouts online. And if you ever need some cheap art for your house and you want it to just kind of imitate your personality, go online. Like you can go on Pinterest and search free printable, right? With whatever it is that you're into. Jackie says it was a beautiful day. Oh, and she says she hopes everybody has a nice Memorial Day tomorrow. Yes, right? Nice long weekend this weekend. So hopefully it's relaxing, rejuvenating, and just good for everybody out there. So if you go like to Pinterest, you can buy them if you want as well. There are people that design them and you can buy them for just a small fee for their time of putting them together. But I have a site that I have loved to go to and I've done, tr I've made these into transfers and all kinds of stuff. Not these particular flowers because there's, there's literally hundreds 
on, um, it's called the Graphics Fairy on that site. Have you been there? Thegraphicsfairy.com. If you haven't, just, you know what? Send me a message and thank me later, all right? Hey, Joanna. Hey, Christine. So I got these really pretty flowers. They, it, the website has it all divided into sections and I like the sunflowers, but I also love how old this looks, right? So a lot of these, like they're gone out of copyright. The, um, like these are super, super old, late 1800s. They were Victorian cards. And so look, so yeah, they're out of copyright. They're so old. And so it's nice if you want to do just like some um, personal wall decor. So I thought we'd take this frame, pick a picture. And also we're doing 10 nights of milk paint, right? So yeah, so don't let me ever hear you say that you don't know how to use the milk paint. Cause you know what I'm gonna say? Did you watch my 10 days of live on YouTube? We did 10 different colors, 10 different days, 10 different projects. And so you should go and you should watch, right? You guys are gonna be all pros <laughs> after this. Rita said, oh, you, you dumpster dive for, oh, door frames. I know, and those door frames, you can, you can paint on them. You can use those as a decor. There's so much that you can do and, and repurpose. Well, I am all about that. All right, so tonight I thought with these pictures, well, here's the deal. I was either thinking that uh, the colors we have left, like, don't you just love those hydrangeas? Aren't they just beautiful? Oh, I love it so much. I don't know which one I'm gonna do tonight, but we'll see. But they have a lot of greens and just a general pink in them. So at first I went and I got, well, we could use maybe one of the new greens that we have and demonstrate that color. That way you get to see it on something and it comes to life. And also you get the tutorial on how to use milk paint. And also if you love a good flip, right? A good transformation and just hanging out with the Banana Bunch family. For all those reasons, I'm glad you're here. So I was thinking about doing green first, but then when I, like, this could be cool, right? Because all of our colors that we have dry to an ultra flat matte look and they uh, finish to a, like a vintage charm, warm feel. So I was thinking I could do this, right? And get away with this if I wanted to do a bunch of frames. Hey, Deborah. Oh, well, hello to you and your granddaughter. What's her name? You'll have to tell me. So I thought I could do uh, maybe a green frame and it could work because that would be so pretty. This color here, this is the sweet pea color we have. And then I thought, you know what? We haven't used Miss Petunia's tutu. So I thought that could be sweet because shabby roses, the pinks that's in it, and this pink would go really nice with it, I think. And then just the design of the frame itself. So my vote is for Miss Petunia's tutu. Tell me if you agree with that and you think we can pull it off, right? And then we'll find, definitely not the hydrangeas. I was even thinking about this. Like, I do like this. You know, I think that'd be so pretty. Hey, Taylor. Thanks for being here. I hope you love to get creative too. Maybe you like to draw, paint. Ah, oh, it's all getting creative, right? Feels so good to get creative. Okay, so I'm gonna vote for Miss Petunia's tutu. Hey, Diane, how are ya? Oh, everybody's saying hey to Taylor. That's so awesome. I love our community. All right, so I'm going to go with one tablespoon right here of the Miss Petunia's tutu, maybe even a little bit of less of that one. Karen says, yes, Petunia's tutu, let's do it. And honestly, this is all I'm going to use, okay? So I have a little cup. I think Matt got cheese in this cup, some fancy cheesy bot for dipping. And um, you know what, I keep all the containers, wash them out, this is perfect. So I always like keep a little stash and reuse them. You can wash them over and over again. So the containers I've been using, I'm just gonna soak them and reuse them. But last night um, we did the Gypsy Rose, do you remember that? And this container is all dried out from that color in there. And do you see how it chipped and flaked? And that's the beautiful thing about the milk paint is that um, it, will, it will chip and flake. Miss Petunia will throw a fit over anything that is glossy and shiny, right? Hey, Jackie, you're watching in bed. It's just after midnight here in the UK. Oh my gosh, another person from the future. Well, you just relax. I'll do all the work and inspire you, all right, my friend? You just you just cheer me on to be here for support. So anyway, that color was a fun color, and but you can always see how it chips, right? How cool is that? Dana says, I keep yogurt containers for mixing paint. That is a good idea. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe you guys can all give us some ideas. What do you use for um, mi for like mixing up your milk paint? Do you have something good that you love to use? Mason jar or something like that? So then remember, all we do is we take the same amount and we add some room temperature water. So this is still the water that I've been using for the last couple of days. I just filled, I keep filling up my bottles that I have around reusing them. I just leave them sitting around because that way, you know, when I'm pouring it from the tap, it doesn't get too hot and cause a crazy reaction with my milk paint. I just want it to kind of blend just nice. And then we stir it up just like that. So now we're gonna stir it up. Oh, you have? 
Nice. Well, tonight is your night, Rashonda. Linda says, I have my, how do you say that? I think it's we, right? We? Yogurt bottles. Hopefully it says we. Um, but yeah, those are really cute bottles. I agree with that. Oh, so pretty. Look how sweet that is. This Petunia's tutu just reminds me of, I don't know, it reminds me of like a, um, a cotton candy kind of look, right? It's just a really sweet, feminine, vintage, sweet, sweet pink. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to move this around because this little container has some indentation. So I want to make sure it's mixed up. I always say you got to mix it up really well. It will combine and thicken up in the first few minutes, but it's like when you're making gravy. All right. You know, you don't want lumps in it, right? You want to work it out, work it out, girl, work it out. So what'd you guys get into today? Diane says she likes that pink. I know Diane, you love the Gothic. I could see some black and white stripes with this and this beautiful Miss Petunia's tutu on a piece. Can you see that? Oh yeah, absolutely. So yeah, tell me what you guys have been up to today. How did your day go? What'd you get into? Come on, come on. Just, you know, share it with the bunch here. We love the chit chat. See what other people are doing. Your, oh, the whisk fits it. Very nice. I'll have to try that. Babs is here from Louisiana. You gardening today? Uh, oh, Diane, you went junkin'? I am so jealous. Daphne's loving the pink. Need to paint something for my niece's, oh, one year birthday. Oh, uh, well, if you're doing a sign, you know, if you're doing something sweet for her bedroom, I'm going to tell you, this can be, we're just going to let that sit up real quick here. And I'll clean my glass while that's thickening up right now. Let me point this down. But if you ever want to do it like a sweet little gift or something like that, if you go get a frame, you can print off the sweetest little uh, sayings online for free, right? Oh, you bleached some shirts, Christy. Oh, that's fun. And that, especially in the sunshine when you get out and you make it work. I love that. It's a good day to get outside and get creative. Love it. We get creative all kinds of different ways. So yeah, just print out something. It could be a sweet little gift you give to somebody. You're making signs tonight? Nice. What style are you doing? Do you have a theme for tonight of what you're doing or any particular ones? All right, let me pull out the back. You know, I, I cleaned the front with some crud cutter and I got my, you know, I got the crud off of my frame here. Just a little bit right there came off. You don't always see the dirt, right? I always say I have enough dirt. I don't need somebody else's, right? I got enough stuff to take care of. So I don't need somebody else's, um, you know, fuzz bunnies, dust bunnies, dust bunnies. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean up this frame real quick. Dana, did you say you were power washing today? Nice. It's so funny you said that because when we were out today taking care of stuff at the shop and just doing some stuff behind the scenes, Matt had messaged to Riley, our son, and said, hey, can you please put together the power washer for dad? So tomorrow's going to be one of those days outside where we work outside. I'm finally going to get my fire pit going tomorrow. I'll share it with you guys when I do my live tomorrow. Let's, we'll be able to paint outside tomorrow. I'll be home during the day, working outside. I have a... Um, but you call it, it's like a, it's a, it's actually a gas lamp. We need to get it hooked back up to the house, but I need to paint it right now. I'm going to go out tomorrow and I'm probably going to, it's like really rusty and black out there right now. It needs some love. So I'm going to go out and junk monkey it. Hello. We're going to go out and junk monkey it and put a collar onto it. I'm really thinking about rock lobster. Our house is a, um, a Tudor style home. So I'm trying to go with something that like will fit that feels a little more traditional. And tonight when we walk the dogs, I got inspired because I was looking at a lot of the houses. It's so funny. Does anybody else feel like that when you walk around, when you're in the junk monkey world, that you start looking at stuff and you see it all in junk monkey colors? Like you get inspired. Like tonight I was looking at a house and I swear it had stormy forest, it had ducky, it had red lobster, and be my honey. And that was the color of the house. It looked like a doll's house. It was beautiful. So just, you know, one of the old homes, Victorian homes, absolutely gorgeous, but it is fun. It can be a sport, right? Looking at, looking at, um, other people's houses. Maybe we'll do the frame first before we do the cutting. No, maybe I should do the cutting first because you know what happens? I get paint everywhere. Good, good thoughts on you. you that was a wise thought. Let's do the paper before we paint because then we put the paper to the side. So I always cheat with the inside and whatever comes on the inside, 
when I slid this open, it was hard to get open, and I was really hoping that maybe I'd find, like, I don't know, a $100 bill inside. Who knows, right, what you're going to find in some good junk? Anybody ever find some good stuff in junk? Do tell me. What was the best thing you ever found? I mean, did you ever buy anything? Sometimes I bought stuff at auctions, and there's stuff in the actual um, drawers that you get home, and you're like, holy smokes, I also inherited, I also inherited. Oh, did it reconnect? I hope it did. I didn't disconnect it. I was kind of sitting here hoping that maybe it would come back. I like that one. Which one's your favorite, guys? And talk to me if you can see me so I know it's still going so I don't need to do a reset. Oh, good. Thanks, Diane. Do you think I should do this one? All right, the single rows. We're going to put this one to the side because this one could maybe be something with a different color, like a green or something like that, right? Now, Teresa. The live has just been on YouTube has been really, really um, just wonky lately. I think there's a lot of people on it. And so the live streaming is just in big demand right now. Could do that one. That would be sweet too, right? Do you think I should do this one? What do you think? Or let's see what else we got down here. I do like this one too. This was an old card from the late 1800s. That's really sweet, isn't it? They're all so nice. Do you really think I can go wrong? At this point, maybe I can't. Let me see, which one are you saying, Diane? You love the sunflower? I do love the sunflower too, Daphne. All right, let me see here, which one do I want? And then what I do is I usually just kind of like put the, um, you like the sunflowers? Those are nice because it's kind of got a frame and it's got words on it too. I do like that. You know what, why don't we do it? Let's do it! Let's lock it in. So I usually like hold my glass over to try to figure out where I want it because the glass is what is going to be, um, that's what's going to show, right? So I just, I'm never a measure kind of person, never when I cook, nothing like that. I just do it. How do you get so much done, Sonia? Oh, I just do it. So let's put the glass over here. If I had an exacto knife, that would be really cool, like um, a sharp blade, right? To cut it on the ends around there. Um, but I know that I have, I'm going to grab a pencil up here and then let's do this. I think I hear Matt coming. He was upstairs doing his late, late, his usual late evening check-in with his dad. Like his dad was planting a garden today. Do I hear you? Yes, you hear me. Do I hear you? You froze up, right? Oh, I did, but I'm back now. Are you? Yep. Oh, uh, you made me have to come down my underwear and make sure. <laughs> check on everything. My IT guy showed up in his underwear to make sure that my, uh, my rock was, running was working. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> ah, do you have an IT guy like I have runs down in his underwear to save the day and be like, you know, hey, I your broadcast ended. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna have to make our own own uh, Matt calendar, right? Junk Monkey Matt calendar. You there you go. You want to sell this thing, right? I, we do want to sell this you thing. Wanna, you can sit there in your hang underwear. Hang yeah. Maybe even drink some beer. Yeah. Yes. We don't judge. <laughs> oh, you're judging right now. I don't judge. <laughs> hey, you're talking to your dad. Did he get his garden in today? Um. Yeah, he's disgusted with the quality of plants that are available out there. Oh, really? Yeah, he said he's he, if he's alive next year, he's going to build a greenhouse and <laughs> his start John. his own plant. Oh, really? Own. Yeah, he's tired of people ripping them off on plants. Uh, uh, what's he planned this year? He usually does a big garden. Tomatoes and zucchini and Brussels sprouts. Oh, wow. And, your dad does love Brussels sprouts, doesn't he? And the Brussels sprouts are good to you. His name is John. My name is not John. Oh, no, oh. I said, do you have an Diane. IT guy who shows up in his Diane underwear to help you? Yes, John. exactly. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Not too funny. Uh, All right, let's see if this is going to fit. Hi, honey. You guys got water after your big walk? You guys got oh, oh. Do they need water? Oh, Tiki smiles. She's so funny. I think I told you guys that. Maybe I'll cut it. Uh, let's see here how that's going. Let me trim off a little bit of the end so that way it'll go up quite nice right there, right? Yes. Yes, Teresa. Matt's in his underwear again. I'm going to keep you out because I think Oreo got Oh, okay. Okay. All right. That's quite possible. Do 
you hear them in the background. Hey, Mom! Yeah, like I said, I don't have dogs. I have gremlins. We're going to trim a little bit. A little bit off here. But yeah, go online and get some free stuff. Oh, that's pretty. What do you guys think? Isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> yeah, right. Yep, Diane, I got these. I printed these earlier off the Graphics Fairy. I love that website. I've been using it for years, and um, it's just such a nice selection of old, vintage, Victorian, which is my style. Like, I am all about the, the vintage love, right? So especially if you're into mixed media and you love just messy, shabby art, I'm going to tell you, you're going to have to bookmark that page. It's awesome. It is awesome. I'm so thankful for the internet and all the things that we can find online, right? So there we go. Our paint's all ready to go. Look how nice and smooth that is right there. Miss Petunia's tutu. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Now what we can do is paint. Let me find my paintbrush here and all the mess I have going on. You guys see that? All right, let me push this over. And I'm gonna put my little whisk into some water. Now this is, it's got shiny parts onto it, but it's also got some, um, oh. like, yeah, porous feel. Yeah, I saw her. Yep. She said hey to us. So Miss Petunia might do some chipping. I don't know. I'm up for anything she wants to give. All right. And honestly, if I just do even a dry brush should be nice because you see a little bit of that gold coming through. I love gold. If you watch the Austin Powers show, me and Matt have been reciting the um, gold member. Oh my gosh, and it's not sweet. I'm telling you, if you are decorating like a nursery, a little girl's room, you can go out and you can find some awesome frames. Even if you don't put uh, a frame, like anything inside of them, just putting a wall, a gallery wall of some pretty neutral colors on a wall can look absolutely gorgeous. You could put something inside of it on the wall and then put the frame around it. So for example, I don't know if, if there's a little plaque or something like that in a, on a wall, Put your, your your little you know decor, and maybe it's small, and it feels like the wall is bigger, and your piece of decor is smaller. Frame it out, right, and draw attention to it. Do you guys remember on Friends they used to have the the I love their apartment by the way. Anybody else? But um, are I know right? That was a is it kicking you guys off? Let's see. Let's see if Miss Petunia is going to hold on or if she's going to give us any chipping or flaking. I'm open for anything. Sometimes she will just crack. You never really know. But if you're a perfectly perfect painter, you will take whatever she gives, right? Just appreciate the chippiness. <clears throat> over there from Alpha, Illinois. Oh, Miss Petunia, I see what she's doing over here. So I'm using my heat gun to speed up the dry process so you guys don't have to wait for, you know. I know, I love to be surprised too. So as this warms up, do you see the chippiness we're starting to get right here? Can you guys see that? Look at that, the chippiness. Oh, so pretty. And down here as well, she's starting to chip and flake. All right, let's keep going. Oh, we're going to get some more action up here. I get so excited when I'm working with Miss Petunia. She's up right here. And over here. She loves to self-distress when you let her. All right, I think we're good. I'll let the rest of it kind of dry the stuff that's down in here. We just did a little dry brush. Oh my gosh, guys, let me um, pull off some of this chippiness so you guys can see it. And remember that if you, you can use a sand uh, block if you want a coarse uh, grit one, but it's going to do more distressing. If you ever just want to more or less polish it, or you just want to let the chippiness fall off without too much extra distressing, this is the one that you would use to polish, right? These are on the website. They're, they are the ultra fine. They're really nice too because you've got a lot of area to work with or if you're doing like spindles or something like that, you can really polish 
and shape these, right? So that's really nice. All right, so I'm gonna stand up and come over here. Can you guys give me a yes if you can see that gorgeous chippiness right there? All right, so let's go ahead. Oh my gosh, I am in love. I am in love. Can you see the hearts in my eyes? Look at that sweet, sweet chippy right there. Oh, Miss Petunia. All right, let's do it down here. So you never really have to wonder where you're going to put your distressing because Miss Petunia, if she's on a glossy surface, she's just going to make it happen for you. And there's no way that you could imitate that with even our other line of paint because this paint just, it chips, right? The milk paint will chip and um, pickles, he will stick, right? Oh, love it. All right, let's do the other side over here. So there was some white around the corner, so it's gonna kind of show up a little bit gray right there. And then here is the other section that wants to fall off. Let's give it a nice polish over. Isn't that so sweet? So, so nice. So you know what, I like this is how I kind of get inspired. Oh, there's another spot. I can't do it without my friends, all right? You guys gotta see, because if you're like me, you just love to see that. All right, and there she is with a little bit more right there. Oh, I love this spot right here. Love that spot. So for me, when I see this, and this frame was already in this color, I get kind of inspired and I start thinking, like if you see even natural patina, the way it chips, you know, the idea of putting gold and then doing the chippy on top of it, right? Thinking about the underlayer that's going to come through. Oh, Diane, that would be really pretty. Oh, I've got some on the inside is too. I agree with you. A little bit of glaze. We're gonna play with some glaze as well over the next few days. I'll give you my best tips for when you're glazing. And there's a couple different things that you can do and play with it to really master the glaze world. So if you want some tips on glazing, let me know. Oh my gosh. Now guys, you know that when I monkey shine this, this is just gonna be the bee's knees. Yeah, I'm ready to frame my, <laughs> I'm ready to frame my people. I love that so much. Matt comes down and goes, why is there a frame on the back of our door? Oh, I don't know. I got inspired by friends. Painted a frame, turned out gorgeous. Knew I had to do it. Okay, so I'm glad that I don't, that I have this cut already. Oh, I, <laughs> yes. You got your vitamin C and D. Uh, there's nothing like a trip to the beach for your spirits, everything. You know, like there is, if you look this up, um, Alyssa or anybody else that's watching, that when on this, that you feel good when you're at the beach, and part of the reason there's a scientific whole thing that happens, a reaction that happens with the um, I think it's called ions, if I remember correctly, and when the waves crash on the beach, it gives you energy, like there's a certain amount of energy that is released. And so basically you get to suck up that good energy and there's only certain ways to like find that type of energy in the world. It, just go look it all up because I probably just messed it all up and how I'm trying to describe it. Basically when the waves crash on the sand, there's an energy that's released that makes you feel really good as a human being, as a human being, okay? So I say more beach time. What do you guys think? So if you've never ever wondered why you feel so good at the beach, there is really something behind it that I gotta make sure I put this on the right way. Ever frame something and look on the other side and go, what? why did I go through all that work and put it on the wrong side? All right, this is like a velvet back, so it's pretty sticky to get back in, but we'll get it in. We will make it work. I love the beach. I love the water. I love the sound of the water. It's just so relaxing. So relaxing. What is this corner? Maybe I'm just pushing it in squish because I'm sat down here. But yeah, so who lives near the beach? Make us jealous. Do you live near the beach? If so, we're all gonna wanna be your friend. Expect lots of friend requests. All right, now I need I need somebody with big, strong arms. Matt, where are you? Are you, are you on the other side of this video? Come help me get this up. You sat and closed your eyes and just listened. Oh, I know. You know what, Brenda, when you master the milk paint, there are so many people, like I say, that they don't even realize the world of milk paint exists. And it's a little bit scary because they think that, you know, you have the dried paint powder and you have to mix it and they worry if they're gonna mix it up wrong, just two equal parts, you know? Oh gosh, this thing is gonna like drive me nuts. All right, let's see here. Oh, 
it's like this thick velvet. I'm going to have to put some monkey shine in there. If you ever have drawers that stick or anything like that, no, I'm totally putting this in squish. I can see it from here. Um, if you ever have drawers and stuff that, that are squish, monkey shine, or not squish, but will not go in, monkey shine is an awesome product um, that will help them glide because it has oil and wax into it. It's really good for that. So if you ever heard the whole trick of like putting, for example, um, rubbing a candlestick, <sighs> that was a workout, man. Look, I'm sweating. Whoever said that furniture painting and flipping was not a workout, you've, I don't think you've really done it. All right. That's how you burn your calories, right? You do a project a day. You tell your husband, this is how you're getting your, uh, getting your workout. Oh, look at that. Love it. No beaches for you. <laughs> oh, Rita. Yeah, I'm about probably five, six hours from the beach. I'd have to drive to the East Coast. So looking forward to doing that. All right, I say we go ahead. We've sanded this down. Remember that when you're, you're, you are stuck in the middle, Brenda. Oh my gosh. But you know what? Think about it. You're in the middle of everything. You can go north, south, east, and west and find something good, right? So that's good. So yeah, this is the one that we chose, the print. But there's a whole bunch. Like that would have been sweet. Okay, that would have been gorgeous. I'm just saying, right? Now I'm going to have to go find more frames and frame the rest of these. But we got that rose and yes, the mountains. Yeah, you can, yeah, I agree, Diane. Even moving up where I am right now, I don't have as much like mountain range as I did when we were uh, living south. And I go down, I'm like, I didn't realize how big these like, you know, the hills were. But you go back and you can really see it. Oh, wouldn't these be sweet right here? Like that rose just goes so pretty with that. But we got it in, so this one's got to stay in there now, and I do love it. I do love it. Now I'm just going to have to go find frames for the other ones, right? So yeah, that rose mom is beautiful. All right, let's go ahead because I started to say that when you um, when you sand down, it's very normal for your paint to mute out. That's completely normal because the paint is made with clay and with minerals and just the part of sanding. That's what it does. The color is still there, but you've sanded it down a little bit, right? So now you got to revive it back. Va 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 boom. Let's bring it back. Find some monkey shine. Where'd my monkey shine go? And just make it pop again and bring it back to life. And so then you'll really see the full strength of Miss Petunia's tutu. That's the color we're using. All right, still going on my monkey shine here. Let's get my wax brush all nice and loaded up here. And we are ready to go. And the wax brushes just came back in stock in the last 24, I think 24 hours. I don't know what day of the week it is anymore, but yeah, in the last 24 hours or so. So I know a lot of you guys are grabbing them and they make it really nice and easy when you're applying your monkey shine. If you're not using a brush like this or this brush, when you do use it, people are like, where was this to all my life, right? Oh, thanks Monique, I appreciate that. All right, let's go ahead and make Miss Petunia. We'll just finish her off here a little bit. And I'm, I'm deciding to finish it off because I really want her to pop over here, right? You see it more muted out over here. I want it to like, just to revive itself. Give me the, I'll just make all the um, things behind this picture just pop. Oh, this is so pretty. So again, if you want some free prints to create some, um, just some decor, this is a thrift store frame that I got, painted it in Miss Petunia's uh, Tutu, the milk paint, which loves to chip and crack over glossy surfaces. Do you see all that gorgeous right there? Yep, there you go. And that's the difference between Pickles and Miss Petunia. So I didn't have to distress anything. She just self-distressed for me. Miss Petunia, the wild one. And we'll clean that in a little second. And then let's just grab one of our cloths that we have here and buff it off. So you know what? If you ever want to make a gift for somebody, like I said, get some thrift store frames. Go get some, put some beautiful prints that they love flowers. If you go onto that site that I told you about just a minute ago, or you can go anywhere, just start searching, um, you know, even on Etsy. Um, just trying to get yeah, Etsy. I bought a lot of uh, prints on Etsy as well from like my personal use for frame stuff that I've done in the past and you can save them. But just giving somebody a set of their favorite flowers that they never have to water. They're always in bloom, put them in a frame, you know, bring a smile to their face. This here is actually gonna go up in my studio here behind me because this makes me happy. And I'm gonna frame my other ones as well. There we go, we just gotta buff it till it's nice and dry, that's all. Dry to the touch. 
and we are done. So if you can't draw flowers, <laughs> this might be a nice option for you, right? Very, very easy. Oh, Rita says, I'm searching botanicals now on another computer. Yes, they had a gardening section. They have the most awesome owls. I'm, I said the word owls. Yes, beautiful. Do some framed owls. Um, I'm trying to think. They had all kinds of like French inspired and a lot of this stuff, the majority of it is old art that was in production that is out of copyright and it's just vintage, pure vintagey lovely sweet if you love shabby sweet stuff you're gonna love that site go check it out and i have used a lot of the images that i found on there like old clocks and things like that and done the image transfers you know you guys know how to do that if you need a reminder let me know i'd be happy to do another tutorial on that where you take it and you could put your image on a piece of wood it, like i could put this image on a piece of wood which would be really cool so yeah all right i'm so happy with that I think it's beautiful. Very, very happy. All right, and now to go find some more for these sweet ones right here. You know, if you know somebody, I just love that rose right there. If you know somebody that is um, getting married, you just wanna give them a nice gift and they love, they love this, this is sweet. You know, you can find all kinds of pictures. All right, friends. Well, that was an easy project. Thanks for hanging out with me. Rita says, I have coffee table books. I find these images I like and print them out. Exactly. Thank you, mom. Mom, I see you got your dining room painted. I actually painted, my mom's on here from back in Canada. And last time I was home, which I'm so sad because I had planned to go home this summer, but now the island's on lockdown and I ain't flying or traveling anywhere, obviously, right now in the times that we are in. But uh, the last time I was home, I'm overdue to paint something else for you, Mom. I painted her table and her hutch and chairs. Did you guys see that? It's actually on a vlog here. Go back and watch it. There's almost 700 vlogs or 700 videos. So you'll find lots of lots of my life. <laughs> I'm going to have to go watch that one again, Mom. Aww. All right, friends. Well, I am out of here. I hope this inspired you. And come back again tomorrow. We'll do another video together here on my channel. I'm doing live videos or I should just say daily videos. Right now we're in a live challenge, 10 days using milk paint, showing you the different colors and uh, just, you know, the stuff that you can do. And I want you guys to be comfortable using milk paint because you can do some amazing creations that people will say, how did you get that look? How did you get it to chip like that, right? That's the beautiful thing about the Jeff Monkey Milk Paint. So yeah, all right, I'm out of here. I'll see you back again tomorrow. I would love it if you haven't already done so. Subscribe to my channel. That means right here on the channel, below my big smiley face, click the subscribe button and the bell. And that way, if you ever say, Sonia, I keep missing you live, well, when you hit the bell, then it will send you an alert to your phone and say, hey, Sonia plans to go live um, and give you a heads up so you got a chance to get some time to get settled with the munches and hang out with the fam. Let's see here. Is there a key where we can search to find the video of the project? Oh, you did for my mom. Let's see. If you do um, milk paint black soot, maybe try that. So when you're on my channel, look for the little magnifying glass. You can search words like glaze. I tag my video so that way you guys can go back and find whatever the subject is about to be helpful. So if you search, um, I would say milk paint black soot. All right, but it's got to be searched within my channel. So the magnifying glass below the banner, and that searches my channel, like within my archives of what I do. And that's what I like about YouTube, um, because you guys can find videos again, and you can play them on TV, and you can just kind of, you know, hang out, and you know. So hopefully, I'm keeping you company. All right, have a good evening. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. It's gonna be a gorgeous one. So we're gonna do some outdoor stuff. All right, you know what I say? Always do something that boats your boat, right? You almost missed the live. Well, I'm glad you're here, Elvia. Have a great night. I'll see you all tomorrow, friends. Bye.